And that's why the Bible says, For what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world? Just like this rich man fed sumptuously every day, had all the desires of his heart, could get whatever he wanted, could buy whatever he wanted. But that verse goes on to say, But to lose his own soul, it won't do, it won't. Oh yeah, dude, that's my favorite verse. God doesn't know your name. Those in hell are the forgotten. But God doesn't even give a name. Next. Not only is hell a forgotten place, hell is an appointed place, and I'll push through the rest of these kind of quickly. Hell is an appointed place. I already showed you, I read the verses, but the Bible Oh no, dude, take died. your time, it's all good. Man died. When he died, he lifted his eyes. Once to die, but after this, the judgment. If you wind up in hell, it's not by mistake, it's not because God made an error, it's because you were appointed to go there. God knew that that man, that rich man, would have wind up there. It's an appointed place. The only thing I want to tell you is hell is a prepared place. You know what you read there? You better read a place that was separated from comfort. You read a real place called hell. You read a place that there was literal fire. And the Bible says in Matthew chapter 13, verse 49 and 50, So shall it be at the end of the world, the angels shall come forth and sever the wicked from among the just. Now listen to me. And shall cast them into the furnace of fire. There shall be wailing and gnashing of teeth. I can't even imagine. Wailing and gnashing of teeth is a cast in the furnace of the fire. But do you know none of that was by mistake? Hell is a prepared place. Listen to me carefully, Christian. Do you know who hell was prepared for? Hell was not prepared for man. The Bible says in Matthew chapter 25, uh, uh, Yo, here we go, here we go. Get ready, get ready, boys. It's youtube.com slash watch, uh, YouTube link. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? 